Hello everybody! Let's continue the discussion about diodes and find out something about their parameters. Let's look into a datasheet to find some parameters. We'll search for a very common diode, 1N4148. One of the most important information are the absolute maximum ratings, telling us the maximum stress that the part can take from electrical point of view. Repetitive peak reverse voltage or VRRM shows what is the maximum peak voltage that can be applied to a diode more times when the diode is reversed biased without causing any damage. Reverse voltage is the maximum voltage drop across the diode when it is reversed bias that can be applied without breaking it. Peak forward surge current is the maximum peak amount of current that the diode can conduct in forward bias mode for a short time. Repetitive peak forward current is the maximum amount of current that can be conducted by the diode repeatedly in forward bias mode. Forward continuous current shows which is the value of the current that can be applied continuously on the diode. Power dissipation shows the maximum possible power dissipation of the diode when it is forward biased. Another important table is the one with thermal characteristics. Thermal resistance, junction to ambient air, is the thermal resistance from the semiconductor junction to the ambient air. Junction temperature is the highest temperature of the actual semiconductor in an electronic device. Storage temperature range gives the range of temperatures for storing. Usually is the same with the maximum operating temperature rating parameter. The last but not least is the electrical characteristics table. Forward voltage is the voltage drop across the diode when it is forward biased in order for it to allow the current flow. This value can vary with the temperature and it is different in case of another material or in case of another type. Reverse current is a very small amount of current which is able to flow in reverse through the diode. Breakdown voltage is the voltage that when applied in reverse it will break down the diode and the current flow in reverse will exponentially grow. Diode capacitance is a parasitic capacitance that appears between the charge carriers found across the junction of the diode. Rectification efficiency is the ratio of the DC output power to the AC input power and it is expressed in percentages. Reverse recovery time is the time in which the diode removes the charge stored in depletion region of the junction and also the charge stored in the bulk semiconductor material. Besides tables, there are also some graphics that show interesting behavior of diodes in different situations. For example, in the graph in which the forward voltage is varying with junction temperature, we can see that these voltages get slower as the temperature gets higher meaning that if we don't take this behavior in account and we place the diode in our circuit, we expect it to open at only one volt, that is the forward voltage. But if our circuit will work at temperatures of 90 degrees Celsius, the diode will open at lower voltage and might influence the function of the whole circuit. These are the parameters for this diode, but of course some other parts data sheets might give also other parameters, but these are good to know for a basic look. Thank you for watching this video and supporting us. See you next time!